All right, everybody, welcome to the Studying Brew, episode 852 on this beautiful Wednesday evening. It's so good to be here, and we're happy to have you here. And uh, we are, we're, we're just really excited that the fact that you just made the choice to be here. And, you know, you could have been anywhere else, but you decided to be here with us. And uh, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to learn because, uh, you know, what, what goes better with learning than fun? That, that's true. If you make something fun, guess what? you'll probably want to do it that's definitely that's usually how it works and look we got people on at 1 a.m shout out to everybody that's on the east coast midwest everybody that got on even though the power went out uh we're on the west coast we got floods going on we got wind and rain and all kinds of great stuff that happened in the bible but y'all made it here and uh and it wasn't easy right but uh, I just want to say, uh, you know, that's what it takes. It just takes choices just like that to make it happen. Just deciding that you're not going to quit and you're just going to be here. And tonight we're going to go over content. We're going to go over techniques. We got Q&A. We got some stuff found on the Discord that's going to lead to other stuff. So you're going to learn a little bit of content. It's all going to be free. And it all begins, I guess, right now. 30 minutes. My name is Andy. I am the guy that runs the back office, the phone, all the great stuff over here and finds, you know, all the, the old hits that are now sampled so that way you guys can hear some music before we get started uh but you're not here for my dj skills or my music eclect- uh, uh, collection you know you're here for brandy she's got her series 6 63 26 65 and her series 7 because that's what she collects she collects pass notices and licenses and uh she's going to show you how to catch them all too and uh guys that's what it's all about we're heading into to the um what do they call that Reti- what is it ira roth ira we're heading into the retirement plans. We're heading into people wanting to lower those tax liabilities. Guys, that is going to be your favorite phrase during this time of year once you get licensed. Hey, do you want to lower those tax liabilities? Do you want to pay less taxes? <laughs> Dude, who doesn't want to have a conversation with that person, right? right? That's a conversation starter. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're going to wow them. They're going to be like, whoa, you're so amazing and i can't wait to hear from you and then bam you're off and running right right <clears throat> positive mental attitude and when you got a good plan there ain't nothing you can do to stop you and speaking of plans we got some plans we got the 21 day plan we've got the academy we're on day three and if you're thinking about joining us for the academy and you're like oh you're already on day three guys it's plenty of time to catch up because you jump in tomorrow i have a you know you were on the day four the next right tomorrow tomorrow yep. is day three right you know, and then day four on friday yep. and then saturday i send out a week review we do this on the first week mm-hmm. uh, i send out just a if anybody wanted to jump in you know on that second week that there's a great way to do it i send in a, a nice little week review and that way you guys can uh, catch up on all the stuff you missed on the last three days that you weren't there mm-hmm. and then bam tuesday next week you're back into the content like like i said we stopped the content on friday we pick it back up on next week on Tuesday. So you got plenty of time to catch up. You got you got Friday, you got Saturday, you got Sunday, you got Monday. Boom, Tuesday, you're in it. You're in it to win it. That's right. Back on. See, so you, it's not, there's plenty of time to get back uh, back in it and join Brandy for that academy. Get, you know, get into that guided program. You already heard from Michelle. You heard from um, Ning. Uh, Ning. You, you know, we already got people already graduating, getting those pass notices. I've actually looked up some stuff. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start sending out certificates for people who actually graduate from the academy, and then we can email or mail those out, right? And then you can get a nice cone of butterflies certificate, hang it on the wall. Um, so I'm gonna start doing that. And I've also started looking up, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna start uh, doing um, coffee mugs. I thought about shirts. I probably should do a shirt, but I feel like everybody does shirts, and it's so played out. But I would think maybe a shirt and a mug would that be cool? Because I feel like you got to do coffee if you're going to do Kona, right? Guys, look. Yes, Kona is the dog. That's him right there in the corner. But he's named after coffee. Yeah. We, we were all about studying brew. It's not beer. Although when I first started, we first started this, I would actually drink a beer when we were on here right at the beginning. But then I got healthy all of a sudden. I stopped drinking. and We also did that too. Yeah. Now it's all coffee. All now, Yeah, now it's coffee and water. But, uh, but you know, I didn't say you couldn't have another different brew, but that's your business. But how do you, anyways, we can do coffee. 
we can do coffee mugs. If you don't drink coffee, because I know somebody will go, I don't drink coffee. Well, put some hot tea in it then. I don't know. Put put water in it. You don't have to put coffee in the coffee mug. I see. Anyways, uh, we'll we'll work on it. But uh, but I want to say I think that'd be a great way. Everybody loves swag when they finish something. Everybody loves feeling like they they won something, even though you get a license that's crazy. You know that the that the federal license allows you to do amazing things. Who doesn't want a shirt, right, or a, a mug? But I feel like shirts are so played out. I don't know. Um, but anywho, uh, maybe I should put like a like a like a poll or something. Anyway, I'm, I shouldn't be brainstorming this as we you guys are trying to get some learning. Anyway, study guides we got those available. SIE six sixty three. Uh, we also have some for the 26. Uh, we got the Kona community where you can meet up if you're studying for the SIE, the 6, 63, 26, 65, 66, 7. Guys, leave questions, get answers. Brandy's helping you out over there. It's a great community. Uh, one of the great things about that community, if you guys see questions that someone else asked, jump in there. Jump in there. Answer it. Mm -hmm. Answer it. Answer it. Yes. It helps you solidify the things that you know. That, that's all. I know that Jamie likes to answer some questions on there and she's great. Um, and by the way, if you're wondering how Jamie's doing, she helps out on the discord and she's helped us polish all that great stuff up. But I just wanted to let you know, I did talk to her and she's saying her dad is still at the hospital. She still needs prayers. He's doing a lot better, had a rough night last night, but he's doing a lot better. So m many more prayers for her. If you wouldn't mind, I believe in the power of prayer. Uh, and any any of you ever want to let, let me know about something that's going on? And you need some prayer? Just let just drop me a DM and let me know. Uh, I'll leave out all the specifics. I don't I don't need to put everything out there, but I believe that we can put some prayers out there for sure. And uh, I just want to let you guys give a little update that Jamie's dad's doing a lot better, but uh, still in the hospital, still needs prayers. Uh, but getting back to the Discord, help out. Jamie got really good at answering questions for people. She's not an expert on any of that stuff other than, you know, just helping out people uh, and just asking, you know, and just saying, hey, you know, let me answer that. And she got it wrong, you know. She got it wrong a few times. But you know what? She learned why she got it wrong. And she got better. And she got better. And she got better. Guys, you could do the same. You could do the same. It's why we put it up. It's a, it's a studying tool. It's just another way to learn this stuff. And if, even if you're studying the Series 7, you can help out with somebody studying the SIE. It's virtually the same exam. Mm -hmm. The SIE and the Series 7 are virtually the same exam. There's a little bit more to it, but it's virtually the same exam. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So study course, we got all the 21-day plan, the academy. How do you get on to it all? Scan the QR code, hit the links in the chat, join us. All right. We got the, uh, oh, do I need to put my phone number? Nah, let's move on. SIE Series 663, Kona Academy, we talked about it. Starts off tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. Pacific, ends around 1 p.m. Pacific. We will have the 63 tomorrow. Uh, no no worries about falling behind. We got plenty of time to catch up. Uh, we had to cancel today because our little one got her braces on, and uh, that was awesome. So thank you all for, for letting us do that, but we're not behind. So let's just go ahead, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yep. All right, we're ready to go? Yes. All right, let's go. Let's let's just get the learn on. Yes. Um, guys, uh, I'm like, we must have been really good on the Discord because there was no new questions posted. <laughs> I was like the last one that posted and um and them except for the seven. Those are some deep cut questions, series seven. So we're gonna go over there those differently. But I did pull one of the questions and I said, you know what? This is a universal topic that shows up pretty much on every exam. So let's talk about the investment company. All right. So let's look at this. One of the things that drives me crazy is when I see um, when I see 4%, but it's like spelled out. Like I don't, mm. oh, that drives me crazy. It's just another way of, of getting you guys fooled. Have you ever noticed that? Like you, people try to trick you by writing out the word one. You're like, oh, and why didn't you just put one? Isn't that just more efficient? Just put the number one. Right. Now, this is this is going to be funny. Okay. Because we have like this running joke that it's the third highest number. The second to the highest number. Right, right. Right? So check this out. Look, I'm just going to show you guys technique wise. Lowest number, highest number third look what the answer is <laughs> just saying just saying i don't know why 
hey, look, I'm not saying like this is going to work 100 percent all the time. Like what does really? Right. We, we went through covid. We know that nothing works 100 percent of the time. Well, that not even the information we get is 100 percent correct. Right. I'm just saying if it works 30 percent, if I'm on the exam and I eat a bad burrito on the way in and I am just fighting it, guys, just let you know, I would be techniquing it out and I'd be like third highest. That, I'm going with it. Moving on. Let's go to the next technique. We're going through this. Right. Or what? It, who was it? Uh, it was Ning. She only had 20 minutes left. 20 she minutes technique, and 15 questions. Dude, she techniqued the rest of her questions all the way out and peg out a pass notice. Dude, I, I don't know why. Right? But I, I, I don't know why, like, this whole third, like, third in the row, second to last. I, I don't know why it is, but it seems to be it. Now, I've been kind of fooling around with like kind of, you know, on the spot coming up with my own uh, questions, like on the spot, you know, and and I do the same thing. There's a super formula to answers, like to writing answers. It's a formula. Everybody has the same formula. And that's why these techniques work a lot of the times, no matter which Q bank or test you're taking these these work because this is so formulaic. Yeah. Right. And AI does not get this right. Well, at least chat GPT. I've tried. I'm all, hey, chat, write me a quiz question on this. And there, and it was wrong. It was so bad. It's all don't call me chat. <laughs> hey, GPT. <laughs> What's up? But okay, so let's talk about this one. And this, this is good because this one shows up, like I said, on multiple exams. So even though this came from the Series 7, this shows up on a lot of exams. And some, somebody put in the chat, um that you know under 10 like grammatically un when you're under 10 the number 10 you're supposed to spell it out totally but we all know that kaplan is not grammatically correct no <laughs> that's all that's not right. an issue <laughs> but anyways okay so let's talk about this this whole question right so it says an investment company that holds which of the following does not meet the definition of a diversified investment company under the investment company act of 1940 here is the thing that is confusing. Guys, if you guys saw the explanation, you too would probably go, what? Right? Yeah. So let's explain what it means to be diversified and then circle back to this whole thing, right? Yeah, because even the person that left this was like, you know, the explanation on this, though. Right. Okay, so. <laughs> I, I always say, it, you, need a, you need a dictionary and the power of Jesus to understand. Yeah. Okay. They make it difficult. So to be a diversified investment company, let's back it up for our new studiers. And let's just even define what an investment company is very quickly. Basically, guys, it's a pool of securities. So, you know, our mutual funds, our publicly traded funds, um, technically speaking, an ETF. But basically, it's where you have a pie, right? And you have all of these different, we call them assets. You guys can call them the ABC stock. You can call it the, the XYZ bond. You might want to call the CDE stock, right? So, so what you're saying, let's just imagine instead of a pie, that's a pizza. Because that looks like more like pizza to me. And I'm, I haven't had pizza in a minute. But uh, let's just say all these all these pieces and slices all make up the whole thing that's called an investment company. Yes. So it could have hundreds of stocks and bonds. And all you're doing is you're buying one share of the investment company. So now you own a portion of all of the stuff. We call it a portfolio. So I know we say like uh, we've we put it. So I'll keep with the pizza theme. So let's say I'm in the office. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tim. You know, my, my boy, Tim, you know, always dresses snappy. He's from Ohio. He's a great guy. He's all, hey, I'm going to go get pizza. Mm -hmm. And he's and he's all, hey, do you want to chip in? I'm like, sure. Here's a here's a couple bucks. Right. Mm -hmm. I just bought a share of this pizza that's coming. Yes. There you go. There you go. Now, look, guys, there's a couple of things that I want you guys to notice real quick. I did this super intentionally. Portfolio. Pool of securities. Fund. Um assets right i did that because stocks and bonds these are all words that are used very interchangeably does that make sense there you guys you one question will call it a portfolio another question calls it a fund 
Another question calls it stocks. Another question calls it assets, right? So like when we were kids, they used to call it like a compact disc player, a CD player, right? A disc player, right? right? We all knew exactly what it was. Yeah. But they all three of those things mean the same thing. And sometimes our parents would say, hey, hand me that Walkman. And you're like, it's not a Walkman. It plays CDs. They're like, yeah, yeah, whatever, that thing. It's a disc man, bro. See what I mean? So I, I don't want you guys to get locked into one word. Notice that there's all the words. And if you're under the age of 35, I make no apologies because you guys don't know any of that. <laughs> you're like, what? Why does music not come from your phone? You only can play 12 songs <laughs> at a time. Oh, boy. One artist? Yeah. They say that driving with your phone while is deemed being as distracting. Dude, flipping through a CD uh, folder while you're driving, way more distracting, dude. Dude, no joke, because you're looking, you're flipping through these pages, and you're trying to find the CD that you want, and then you have to pull it out, right? And then you're holding one on one finger, right? You're hitting the button on the other finger. Yeah. Dude, it's Yeah, phones are much safer. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, guys. So to be diversified follows this thing called a 75 5 10 rule, okay? So what they're saying is to be diversified. We know what diversified means, right? We have a mix of things. But to be specifically called a diversified fund, okay, you have to follow this rule. What it means is that 75% of the portfolio has to be like this. Um, no, oh, hold on. Let me back it up real quick. The fund or the investment company can't buy more than 5% of one issuer. So imagine one issuer being. I was going to say. Brony. No, I was going to say, but more than no more than 5% of that pizza better be ham and pineapple. Someone's going to be fighting. You know what I mean? They're like, dude. No. We can't have all that. Zero percent. We can't have any of that. Zero percent is fine now. We need to have a mixture of different slices in here. <laughs> all right. So the fund can't buy more than 5% of one issuer. Okay. Then the other rule is, why am I blanking? I know the 75, 10, 5, 10. Oh, I back, back that up, guys. That's why I'm confused. Sorry. Sorry. I'm pulling it out of the air. No more than 5% of the portfolio can be one issuer. There we go. Okay, yeah. Like, because you corrected me in the middle of that pizza thing. and you said yeah, that's why, Did you notice that my brain was like, no, that's not right. So that means that of your pizza, no more than 5% no more than five could be one ingredient of the pizza. Right. So no more than 5% of that better be pineapple and ham. Right? No, zero percent pineapple, five <laughs> percent ham. <laughs> oh no, let's let's get this right here. Okay, zero percent pineapple, but you could have five percent ham. Okay, right. and then the ten percent fighting for Eric. Eric's a big right. ham and pineapple guy. <laughs> and then you can't own more than ten percent, more than ten percent of one issuer. There we go. And that means because, guys, if you if you know, ten percent become you become a control. Per, you, you can become a control. Gosh, slow your thoughts. At ten percent ownership, you become a control person. <laughs> yeah, and we can't have someone like Eric controlling the pizza because then you know what's going to happen. It'd be all pineapple. Right. Okay. It'd be. A, we need to block that. Now, this can be super confusing because. What about the other 20? I'm going to get an email tomorrow about all the people that love ham and pineapple. No, sorry, guys. I love pineapple, just not warm pineapple. It's delicious. I just can't do it. It's okay. good. Okay, so you guys might be wondering what's going on with the other 25%. Yeah, what's up with that? So I've always drawn it like this. You like to draw off that pizza. I Well, because it's like the best ingredient. It's the best way to kind of describe it, right? It's a visual. So 75% is this rule. Does that make sense? 75% has to follow. I can't own more 
then I can't have more than 5% pineapple on this pie and I can't own more than 10% of one issuer, okay? But here, anything goes. That's that 25% in there? This is the 25%. So technically speaking, what this fund, so, you know, as Eric put 75% pineapple, Eric, you could put 25% of it being pineapple, but we still got to have room for cheese, pepperoni, right? Sauce. I don't know what else. Okay, I can't get dough. Well, if it's brandy, if it was all brandy, it'd all be vegan. So you get nothing but vegetables, <laughs> right. but no bell peppers. Right. So I kind of like, I've like had done this thing before. Um, where I go, okay, that's 5%, that's 5%, that's like, right, you get get that. And then like, this is ABC right here. I can own, I have to do 10%, or I have to do less than 10% of ABC. Yeah, I can be like 9%. Yeah, you can own 9% of ABC, but you can't own 10% of ABC. You can have 9.99. Right. So let's go back up to this question real quick, right? It says, so working with my diversified, my idea would go 75, 510, right? Yeah. Immediately. 4% mm -hmm. is under 10. I haven't even read the rest. Of, did you guys notice I haven't even read the rest of the answers yet? Yeah, you don't need to. Yeah. So um, that's less than 10. That's less than 10. Hold on. Wait, what? And then 33. So let's look at C and D. Right. Okay. AD already seems way too much if I studied this. But... 80% in 50 healthcare companies. Mm. Okay. So this is companies, plural. D says 33% of one new issue. So that means, looking over here, that that would be more like, like that. Now we're not diversified because we're over... 25% over that 25%. That is why. Got it. We're higher than 25% in look keywords are so important and this this deciphering. Look, all this stuff is stuff. I mean, look how much you didn't really need to read. Look at the 80%. I was like, oh, maybe, right? And then Brandy was like, wait, there's another number on there. It's 50. Oh, okay. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, Brandy. I know this seems like a series seven question, mm -hmm. and I know there's some people that are going like, "Wow, oh, man, is that on my SIE? Oh my gosh, Brandy." The Talk definition, Brandy. Yes. Make me feel better, guys. The definition, the seventy five five ten definition, could possibly show up on your SIE. It's probably if it's going to be tested, it would probably more likely be one of those details that would show up on the series six if it's tested there. Now, we've always said that quiz questions, not just Kaplan, but quiz questions tend to go a little bit deeper with the concept than the actual exam would be. This, I feel like, is one of those examples where it's a little deeper than you probably need to know. On all of these. Yeah, and I have to say, FINRA requires, and, and NASA requires that we tell you that we don't know what's on the exam. And we it's don't. true, we don't. We don't. Uh, even, even so, all we could tell you is that when people test, and the best that they can tell us, and the best that was allowed to tell us, is the fact that it's not that. It was not that deep. And if that helps you, and if you're an overthinker, if you're an overanalyzer, you need to dial it back a good 90%. Correct. You need to dial yourself back a good 90%. You need to look at this much like Andy in very layman terms, very simple. Look at it as food. It's just a simple piece of pie, right? Yeah, I've always thought of diversified as a piece don't, of pie or pizza. Don't complicate it with well, why is there pepperoni and not a, not a lot of ham? Why don't they have this and not a lot of that? Guys, you will lose your mind. You can. And and look at what we did. We can, we approached this question first purely on technique. And we were right. And then we backed it up with the content. I mean, Brandy honestly answered this question in 10 seconds. Yeah, I did. And that's just using techniques. And if you were going to ask, how would you do this question on the exam, Brandy? 
She would have said techniqued it. I, and then I would have briefly looked over it to confirm. Now, yes. And, and that's exactly it, guys. I have to show you this. So the person who posted this question said that, that the explanation was really confusing. An investment company that has invested 33% of its assets in any issue, small cap or not, exceeds the limit set by the 75-510 test. This test requires that 75% of the assets be invested in securities issued. What? Mm. What? What? That is so confusing. No, that's a person who gets paid by the word. <laughs> right? So that's why, guys, we did it. I did it this way. So I would, just in case you guys happen to see it, take this picture. That's the paragraph simplified. There you go. That's the short way around the track. That's the easy way to remember it. That's the easy way to know it. And yes, the definition is on the SIE. And if anything, I hope this helps you in, in just understanding when we talk, when, the, when, when you hear it in the real world, when we talk about investment mm -hmm. companies, when you hear the way that these things work and how it is, and you can understand how the, you know, how the world works. It's great. Uh, and then you can see how you want to get involved in it or you don't or whatever. You know, you, these conversations don't go over your head. Right. Guys, that's where you're getting into. You're getting into a whole new world. There's a whole new language. And look, if you listen to all of this stuff and you still are like, bro, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't even know what's up. Look, you're still a better person for listening to it because you know what? It's just like learning a new language. Yeah, sure. The first time, you know, you might have learned English or if maybe you're learning Spanish. And you like think you're all, you know, you know, you go to Spanish, like Spanish one, Spanish class, right? You're like getting an A in there, right? Oh, yeah. And then you go meet your friend's mom who speaks Spanish. And you're like, yeah, I got an A in Spanish. And she's like, all of a sudden, she just rattles off really fast in Spanish. And you realize, oh, well, wow, I know nothing you said except for, I think I just know Banyo. I, I heard nothing. But, but I, the, here's the thing. The more and more you're around people who talk like that, who you hear it more and you hear it and you hear it, guess what? You get better and better and better. And the next thing you know, you're having a conversation and you don't even know where it came from. Correct. You're no longer just being able to say a Taco Bell order in Spanish. You can actually talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what's awesome. Because the more you get yourself into this world the more you talk it the more you hear it the more you're around it guess what you're more you're in it so don't get overwhelmed don't get over you know don't be like oh my gosh this is too much that's the wrong thing to have everything's too much and everything's overwhelming at first that's why we never look at the top of the peak of the mountain we just take one step and then we take another step and we like another step and next thing you know you're at the top of the mountain you don't even know how you got there you know what i mean so don't trip just go study, go get yourself a quiz, relax. And when things are overcomplicated and things are tough, take a deep breath and go, you know what? I just need to simplify this. I don't need to go over too much. I'm sure there's an easier way to understand. Post it on the Discord, ask questions, and that's how you get a lot easier understanding. So that being said, we have the Academy tomorrow for everybody. We've got the Studying Brew coming back tomorrow night. We will be doing techniques, content, a question for everyone from everybody's different exam, and we'll have fun with it as always. We'll make it sweet and to the point. Yes. So we thank you all for being here. Until then, everybody, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your friend's face. That's all I know. Keep the positive mental attitude. PMA, everybody, have a great night. Thank you guys so much for being on. We super appreciate you guys. Approach a question technique first. Try it. You'll surprise yourself. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great one. Yeah, you might answer a tough question in 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah.